This is the story of one man's courage and why he circumnavigated Australia solo in a small trailer boat. Mark Ratchford is the man on this mission, one that he embarked on to raise funds and awareness for skin cancer. Founding Fish for Life, Mark took on his amazing solo circumnavigation in an Evolution 652 trailer boat and had only one engine brand in mind for the enormous task at hand, a brand that has the runs on the board and the durability to make the colossal journey, Mercury. My background is in the charter industry. I've been a charter operator out of Patterson Lakes for the last 13 years. The circumnavigation around Australia involved travelling 16,500 kilometres without a ground crew and including Tasmania. I am the first person to undertake the journey solo in one single boat in the whole of Australia. Going across the top of Australia, the waters up there are unnavigated, a lot of it. They're unsurveyed on the charts, so you've got to be very careful. When I got to Western Australia, the Montebello Islands, just, they were heaven. Uh, a fisherman's paradise, a place where you want to be. The fishing on the trip varied from day to day. Fishing at times was so good that the fish were sitting straight under the water just waiting for my lure to hit the water. I think the most exciting part of the journey, one of the highs, was swimming out to the boat in crocodile infested water. The reason I chose the Mercury 150s is the mid-range on them, the torque is unbelievable. The reliability is second to none and the service network around Australia and support is fantastic. In fact, no matter where I went in Australia, there was a service centre there waiting to help. The benefit of uh, these Mercury four-stroke outboards is currently they're running and you wouldn't be able to hear them in the background, I wouldn't imagine, because they're very quiet. Uh, one of the other major benefits was the smart craft gauges and uh, the fuel burn that I could monitor on them gauges and the trim and every, every other conceivable option on them in regards to the outboards. In South Australia, I got caught in kelp beds. The kelp was that thick that the engines kept on shutting down so they wouldn't overheat. I had to trim the engines up, get the kelp off and take off again. Now this happened about 20 times. But by having that safety mechanism in place, that has saved them engines. We've got five 44s full of fuel, 500 litres of fuel under the floor. So with that sort of weight on board, as well as 100 litres of Jerry's up the front, let's see how uh, this takes off. Tell you what, that's pretty good. Already up on the plane. I need a torque on the stick. I needed the power to pull out of the water. And them twin 150s, they did it a breeze. I'm gonna do something more challenging next time, so stay tuned.